Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the Ball Ages Hot, Sean here, about to give you another WWE Champion video. In this video, I'd like to show off the Last Outlaw One Star Undertaker card that you can purchase for $4.99. Now, obviously, you have to do a couple upgrades to get him all the way up to level 30, which is the max level that you can get. Now, you also do get some move upgrades so you can upgrade everything up to level 4, which is what the gold cards can go up to. The bronze cards can get their moves up to level 2. The silver cards can get them up to level 3. Gold 1 stars can get them up to level 4. Now, to upgrade to a 2-star Undertaker bronze, you would need the following materials. Obviously, we have 15 tape. We need 6 lamps, 2 of something else. JBL's bullhorn key. And you also need 10 of something, I'm not exactly sure, and 12,000 coins, which isn't that bad to get. So, is the starter pack worth it? You better believe it, because it does give you a powerful card that you can get through some of the events with. So, Undertaker Starter Pack claim Faction Gifts. So we get a bag. So we're going to go collect our free loot. And we're going to go open our backer gift bag. So you can get one to two items from the list below. And let's see what we get. Probably garbage. We get 500 coins and we get a health pack. So yeah, you get garbage. And let's open up this faction loot as well, or the free loot. Which will probably be like a training point. And we get a red training point. Look at that. Who called that shit? It's pretty good. So yeah. A silver maxed out character has like 640 power. 624 if you're Kane. Undertaker has 860. So you get about 200 power per rank roughly. I'm sure you get more... Once you get into two and three stars. Let's go into some battles now. Um, we were on WWE Live Tour Chicago. We did not have The Undertaker, obviously, at that point. So, you can use The Undertaker, and a showboat is required. So, we're going to use The Rock. And as soon as we can tag out to The Undertaker, we're going to do that. All right. So this will be our team. We're going to battle with this. Looks like our battle button's stuck for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's not letting me battle. There we go. Alright, so the whole point of this game is it is like a puzzle game. Those of you guys that are watching this video for the first time. Now, there's a couple ways you can play this game. The first one, obviously, is you'd have to try to deny your opponents from using the black icons, or you can just try to level your own up. Now, obviously, you have to go for the matches where possible. I'm not going to use the yellow. We're going to go for the blue, because it'll cascade everything. Get us a nice little boost. It's probably going to go for the black, yes. But we had to go for the blue that was a better play. So here we can go for purple. I think the better play still is to go for blue. I'm not grabbing that yellow. Although I kind of wish I would have. We could have got a cross on a free turn. So here, it's telling us to match red. I'm not really sure why. Okay, I guess that was why for the double match. All right, so he's got enough for a singer. We're going to use a Samoan jump. Make a random black gem into a yellow jump. That's good for denying Roman Reigns as well. So that'll change the way that we can go. And it's telling us to go like this. He's going to use his signature, dodging and security level 3. That's a little bit of damage, not a whole lot to the rock. So as soon as we can tag out to the Undertaker, we're going to want to do that because he can do some massive damage. All right, so I really don't want to get the loot box so I can help it. We're going to go for the purple and deny him the draw, make him take the, the box. All right, so now we can tag the Undertaker in, so we're going to do that. And right away, we're going to choose four gems and make them into mobile gems. Now, this is really important with the Undertaker's finisher because he does break four immobile gems. So we're going to pick some ones near the bottom just to play it safe. Now, Undertaker also uses black. It's telling us to pick the loot boxes. So I guess we'll do that this time. So Seth Rollins is against the Undertaker. Undertaker has a lot more health. So it's probably going to tell us, to, tell us to take red. Again, I'm not really sure why. If you can go like that and get a nice combo play there. 
Undertaker with the Tombstone, 2,612 damage. Undertaker basically won this fight by himself. And I also do have a clan or a faction. It's called Hollywood Chono. I'd love to see some of you guys in the Twitch stream also joining me. So we got two stars for that. Considering the Rock got beat down, the Undertaker dominated. I'm not surprised by that. So we do hit rank 7. We get 10 bucks and 5 yellow training points. Alright, so we got Kofi Kingston. And we're going to put the Undertaker in again, who barely took any damage. What's going on, the Rising Darkness, uh, Crimson X999? How are you guys doing? The uh, Shane McMahon pack is worth the price. I've heard of that too, Sharky Boy. Alright. So here it's telling us to use Purple. Uh, thank you, Crimson X999, for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to God of Assholes Club. Alright, so. Purple would deny the special. Alright, so if we were to take the money, we only have two blue. I think we are going to take the purple. That actually sets up perfect because now we get a free turn. And a wild card into a double black. That's going to be really, really good. Kofi Kingston is pretty much done at this point. Double extra turns. So, we can match that. If we could get it one down, we could really get a good cascade. I think we're going to match the blue. So, into the pin. And that also, forcing the pin can also make for some plays. That also stopped the opponent from doing much. Alright, so here we can't match any black. Can we match any yellow? No, we cannot. Let's go for the green match. All right, so he's going to use a level 1 uh, Russian leg suit. So now we're probably going to go... He took the black gem. That really sucks. But that's what you got to do. You got to deny the draw sometimes. So there's a blue mystery. It's telling us to go for the purple. I don't like that play. Let's go for the blue. Yeah, that was definitely a better play. Big chop for 15.42. Kofi's going to need a miracle to kick out of this. That should be a win... 259, he does kick out at 2.5, but I don't think he has much left. There's not much that he can really do. Let's tell us to take the loot again. Do I really want to do that? Let's make some loot. Let's make all the loot boxes mobile jump so we can get all the loot. So let's go like this. Our finisher will be charged next turn if he survives. Unless he gets a good combo, he's going to... He denies the black again. But we get a charge, so we're going to finish him off. And we're going to destroy the block, the lock gem. On purpose. That way we get max loot. So we get the three star and we get the max loot. Three. And we get eight loot boxes that do absolutely nothing. So you can see the Undertaker dominating fights. There's the three star, and we get the the loot bag. So by getting all 13 loots, we get an extra 300 coins, and we actually get about a thousand coins. Let's see who joined our faction. So this video is centered around the dominance of the Undertaker. I think we have a tough fight in C1. So let's check our faction and Max 25645. Welcome to the clan. This is a little bit buggy, so it might take a couple seconds to accept. Let's get back at it. So now we got to fight Xavier Woods in Battle 32. Alright, so we're down about 2,000 health. Normally I would recover it, but I think The Undertaker can do just fine. This is mostly just showing off the power of The Undertaker, and I want to get more value out of these health packs. Alright, so he's got purple, blue, and black. Let's match the blue to deny him the blue. That's a lot of damage, too. If he matches some purple, I'm fine with that. 
Okay, it really isn't a good play. I think that is the best play we can make. We're one off from getting a good green. Let's match it. I don't really have a good play. Uh, he matched the yellow, that's fine. Alright, is there anything we can do with this green? It wants the blue. I want to deny him the purple, so I think we're going to go that route. In turn, he denied me some black. So we can make some good green plays here. I think we're going to go like this. So the honor roll level 2 does about 235 damage. Alright, so what is the play here? They can match blue. Let's use our uh, mobile gems. Again, we're going to do loot. Yeah, we can get... Uh, no, we can't get loot. Yeah, let's take the blue. He went for the green. That's fine. Here I want to get some loot, we're going to deny him some purple as well, so that's really good. And no moves available, board gets reshuffled, allows him to get purple, so he's got enough for a finisher. He is low on health. So if we can make a good combo play here, I think I want to match the black. That's a good shot, that's not going to put him in the pinning predicament. So he's going to use the loss in the woods. It's not going to do enough damage to knock out the Undertaker. 688 is not that much. We can probably just match a blue. I really don't want to match that one, though, because we can use that and get a free turn. I think that just makes much more sense. <laughs> you requested to join, but it didn't show up. They'll probably show up pretty soon. All right, we got more loot. Very good. So Undertaker wins. Now we can recharge. I believe that's a one star. We get 15 of the vest. Alright, so for the next matchup, we're going to uh, recharge. Looks like we have to fight the New Day as a tag team, but you get a People's Champ. So we need an Acrobat, which is Seth Rollins. That's kind of disappointing. Let's refresh the Undertaker. Can we level up Seth a little bit more? I think we're going to need it. No, because we, we need three more jump ropes to enhance them, so no, we can't. All right, so let's just deal with this. We do have... I don't know why it's bugging out like that again. It's going to be a tough fight. Why did it look like Seth's health drop out of the 100? That was weird. Alright, so we need blue-green. And yellow. We mostly have to deny as much yellow as we can. So, did we take the loot? It's told us to take blue. And I think I agree with that. Let's take the blue. He's going to get some green or deny our green, which is fine. We get some black and purple. He's already got a level 1 uh, signature. In this case, I just want to take the loot. I don't think he's going to be able to do enough to take out Seth, and we're going to be able to tag pretty soon. He does get some yellow from that play, though, so that's really bad. We almost have our green at uh, signature rank, so let's, let's not deny black. Let's take the blue. So he's going to use a signature. We're probably going to get a tag prop. No, we don't yet. All right. So let's do double signatures. Choose one gem to make into a blue gem. Um. Let's do this one. Nice and red. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Sixty-eight forty-two. Take some red off the board, that's fine. 
Now we need to get the Undertaker in. Could have used a 2x multiplayer, but it doesn't really matter. Let's use a mobile gem. We can set up for some black too. So again, we're going to pick loot boxes on purpose. Mostly, you know, normally you're supposed to take like black. I just want to take some loot because I'm a loot whore. Let's do some damage to Big E now. So he's going to do a body slam on the Undertaker. That's for 634. Well, we want to deny the yellow. Very important there. We don't want him doing a finisher. Which he's probably going to be able to do next turn anyway. Alright, so we have a lot of loot box options. He's telling us to take green. Guess we really don't need loot. We just need to worry about winning the match. So finisher on the Undertaker. Taking the loot, obviously, is really bad because we're going to be forced to take loot now. That really sucks. We're forced to take loot again. No. Okay. No, we're fine. Whew. That was annoying. Now do we have to take loot? Yes, we do. Nice flurry there. That did some damage. Holy crap, these guys got a lot of health. I don't want some yellow. Oh. I think... No, because that would match the... No, we have to do this. That's going to do a lot of damage. Though. That's going to be a big help. And it's going to take some green gems off the board. That's really... That was a great play there. He did, did deny the black, which was annoying. So we're one move off from being able to finish off Kofi. Let's see if we can get a good damaging blue. Oh, we can get some black. That's good. All right. Now, we can set up to finish off whoever comes in next. So he matches loot. I'm perfectly fine with that. Alright, so. Choose four gems to make into a mobile gem. Now, you want to break the gem. So we want to take black gems now. So we just want to break all the black gems. Kofi is eliminated now. There is nothing he can do. So that's going to be over 1,403 damage. That's going to break. He's going to be pinned, and he can't kick out. That's a victory. One, two, three. So the main thing is we get the Silver People's Champ to rock. And we almost get three things of loot. So there's another faction request. Thank you guys very much for the request. You are now to the All right, so we unlock a new circuit. And we're in Detroit. Oh, yeah. We got Wade Bear in our opening contest. Put the Undertaker back in. He is obviously beat up a little bit. Let's check out these faction requests before we start this match. Still saying Max, this is definitely buggy. Oh, here we go. So we got Brittany Brooks, Sharky Boy, and Zaddy01. So we added three more people. Thank you guys for that. Now let's get back into battle. So we're going to fight Wade Barrett with The Undertaker. A full health Undertaker. Let's actually check if we can upgrade our rock, though. No, we don't want to manage. We want to replace so let's look at the rock. He has a one star silver already. So I think that card is worthless. Yeah, so we just get extra cards. The cards can be used to upgrade the people. I think we do get like a gold rock for completing this one though, but I could be wrong. So let's switch back to the Undertaker. Again, this video is focusing on how strong the Undertaker is. 
Seth Rollins looks weird because the NXT look, just like Dean Ambrose has the uh, NXT look as well. Uh, Death Clutch 5150. Alright, so. We want to start right away by getting the black jump. He's going to take red and green. That's fine. That's not on our board. So here it looks like we're going to match yellow. It's telling us to match purple. I actually don't agree. Okay, so here... If we match the yellow, he's going to deny us black. Is there another play we can make? Let's take loot. That actually worked pretty good, and we got a yellow. Okay. So that's going to put him in the danger zone. We can end this fight pretty quickly. Alright, it's almost a combo blue. Yeah, because we can't match that. Let's try it. We don't get another match, so after the next one. And he can't do a finisher, so this is probably going to eliminate him. Um, let's match like this. No, not quite. Now he has enough for a finisher. Should be able to finish him off by matching black gems up and getting the three star. So, let's just pick some random gems. Alright, so if we match the black, everything comes down. That does match the green, so that's actually good. That'll allow us to pin him. The thing I really like about this game is it does require you to use your head and try to think the moves. So sometimes it is really important to kind of wait and go slow in your turns for reasons like that. Because if you can combo moves, sometimes that's better than making the obvious play. We get a yellow loot bag, so we do get the three star in that fight and a training point. All right, so we're at fight 35. Now going up against Mark Henry, who is black. And we got five of those awards that we need to upgrade the Undertaker to uh, two-star bronze, so that's really good. I think we're just going to battle. Again, I'm not really worried about stars. Because upgrading fighters is way more important. We're like, oh man, easy play. Don't do much damage. You get a lot of loot. You get a wild card. Alright, so we can go five on the red too because of that. And make another wild card. That's some heavy damage on Mark Henry. That's like 2,000 damage. He hasn't even done anything yet. He's got to match red, which is great for us. He does kick out. So he's able to match that. Alright, so what is the play from here? We almost have our yellow maxed out. It's tough us to match purple. Let's do that. Do some heavy damage again. Now he's actually in range to get pinned. So if we can trigger a cascade, we can eliminate him early. So almost the match green. I actually want to use a choke slam and get him at seven health. So now let's match. Okay, you don't get to choose it now. Alright, is there a cascade that we can do? We can break green. That's not going to move the yellow down. If we break the loot. Can't really do much. If we break it sideways, you can't get to the red. So I think the best play is to break the black. It's telling us to break green. Maybe we'll get a purple for it. Let's try the green. No. So he goes for green. That's perfect. He's eliminated. Wild card. Game over. So that was actually the correct play. And we should still have the three star because we have seven bars. <laughs> Only got five loot, but that's fine. Undertaker beating Mark Henry and barely took damage that fight. So that was really good. So you can see the power of the Undertaker. And he's definitely going to help you progress fights. And he's definitely a great asset for three-starring any fights that don't require weaker cards. 
So now we have Cesaro and Rusev. That's a weird team. So Trickster is required. We can use Kane. That's a decent card. Let's not heal the Undertaker yet. I don't know why that's bug though. We can use the Undertaker. Alright, so we have Kane and Undertaker, so we have a reunion of the Brothers of Destruction here. So Kane and Cesaro starting off. We have to match purple, red, and black, so it's telling us to go for the black. So if we break the black open, purple only goes down one, we can't match it. But if we match the purple, we can match the black. That's the better play. It sets up a blue cascade. Does not take it. That's really good for us. Have to take that. That's going to do heavy damage. Although he's got his special move up there. Here I want to match the red. That way we can guarantee the double special and get Cesaro low. It does set up for a pin as well. I'm not really worried about that. But it does take out some gems. So he's going to use the red, very European uppercut. We have two specials ready. And we can tag the Undertaker in immediately afterwards. So that's really good for us. So let's do this. Random gems kind of suck. And let's do this. Now let's get the Undertaker in. Alright, so blue, yellow, and black. We can match the black because it will cascade the yellow. That will do some heavy damage as well. So Cesaro's in bad shape. He's got to do that and tag out. He does not tag out. Oh man, can we punish? If we match the red, we will cascade everything down. There's nothing that we can really match. Is there any other play? We can match the yellow, but it's the same effect. I think we're just going to match the red. He's at zero. Rusev's coming in at front. 47.79. He's already almost got a finisher. That's really bad. He comboed a lot. So Undertaker's going to get hit. Okay. This match is black. That's going to be a lot of damage to Rusev. So he's going to use the back suplex level 3. It's going to be like 400. 500. Alright, so. Let's use our, our signature. Let's get the black ready. So let's match away. His next turn we can use a finisher and probably eliminate him. So I think the best play is to match. I want to match the blue. Oh man. That was glorious. Alright. So get an extra turn. Oh man, we can finish him off. Let's do that. That was a great play. And he's done because that'll break all the gems and he's picked. That's a win for the Undertaker. We only get two stars, I believe. But that's quite alright. And we did get more loot, so that was that was good. So we got the second tier of loot. Only a one star. So those tag matches are really difficult to three star. We do get a list of Jericho. That's awesome. One star goal. So again, going for loot is pretty important in this game. All right, so we're at fight 37. We have to fight a silver Undertaker, 520. Roman Reigns is beat down. All right, let's just use the Undertaker and heal him up so we can try to three star it.
Okay, so we got black, yellow, and blue on both sides. Let's deny the black. Very important there. Easy play. So he's going to grab Lou. I'm perfectly fine with that. Instead of grabbing yellow. So he goes for some blue. Um, at this play, it looks like we got to match red. He wants purple. I want red. So if we match the red, everything comes down three. I think that would actually match the green, so that's pretty good. No, it does not. One off. He matches green. That's fine. Pulls up some black. you got to deny him the black. Very important. Because then, after we get take this old score, one more move, and we should be able to finish him off. He's going to make me some block gems. I like that. Alright. So, yeah, next turn we can do a finisher. So, what can we do to maximize damage here? Because we can beat him next turn. I think that is the best play. We want to save the immobilized gem, so let's do the red. Okay, so we got one more turn. One more turn, one more turn. Get some more mobile gems. We'll actually put him at zero health already. Um... Alright, so we match the yellow, the purple comes down, that does nothing. We match the purple, that does nothing. Not that it really matters, because he's dead next turn. It is a double cascade, so let's do that. Oh man, look at all that black. Alright, I'm fine with that. So, let's do this. We kind of want to stay away from this for loot. Let's go like this. Oh. And clear that. Just clear loot because we're going to win this fight anyway. If we want to break a mobile gem, we have a pretty good chance of doing at least three. Yep. Perfect. That way we're guaranteed some loot. We need a new phone, Grim Reaper. That sucks. Oh yeah, look at that. And because we did that loot break, now we get the double loot. So it's really important to do because it's a good way to get coins. And if we wouldn't have made that play, we wouldn't have got a black training point. So good job, Hollywood Shona. One thing I do like about this game is that if you have enough superstars, while it does take a really long time to recharge them, you can play for a pretty long time. It does take 45 minutes to actually recharge your guys, but that's not too bad. So, powerhouse required. We can use Roman Reigns. Let's heal both of them up. Wait, why does it say 640? Why does it do that? Why does it bug out with the Undertaker? That's really strange. What a weird team. Alright, so we have black, red, and yellow versus blue, black, and yellow. So if we match the red, he's going to match the black. If we match the black, he's going to match the red. Go for the red. Matches blue. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's match black now. He's going to match red to deny me. Both of us can use yellow. We can deny him the black, though. I think that makes more sense. Alright, so we can make a almost a good play with purple if we, had, if we were one off. Black is almost ready. Red is almost ready. I'm going to be greedy. Get some loot. I've got to set up a blue gem. That was probably bad, though. Because now we can take that blue and set up a finisher next turn. Oh, that was really bad. Alright, but we can set up this. Do some damage. 
Roman Reigns is going to be in trouble. We're going to use the uh, second signature, and then tag the Undertaker. So we have to block out 860. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's take out the blue. All right, so let's use this. We have a good black setup for the Undertaker as well. Let's tag him in. All right. It's telling us to match green. I don't agree with that. I think we're going to go like this and see what we can cascade down. Did not get green though. Probably using a level 2 signature. He's probably going to tag out because Darren Young is low. And he's definitely going to risk getting eliminated if he stays in there. Yep. So Seth Rollins, the architect, is in there. Is a bad wild card for him. I don't think he can capitalize on it, so that's really good for us. He can, oh, he could have matched the green, though. That was a big misstep. All right. So if we match the red, the yellow comes down. That does nothing. We can match the green up, get that blast gem, get a lot of damage in. 2562. That's going to take out some of his finishing gems. And he does kick out barely. So he matches some blue. All right, our finisher is ready. I don't think it's time yet. I think we should wait one turn. So, black, blue, purple. Where can we deny him the most? If we drop the red, he can do the double blue. That's really bad. Um, and if we drop that, he has a chance of getting black. So I agree with that play. So that was a smart play. So he has to drop that down. So now he drops the blue down. Okay, 1738. We don't have any locks up, though. Let's deny him the black. That does some good damage as well. Now we can pin him. He's going to do a little bit of damage on the Undertaker, but that's fine. And he does match the blue. Alright, so let's do this. Let's just finish him off. No reason to keep going. So Seth Rollins gets pinned. Nice loot there. I believe that's a two star. Yes, it is. Hard to get three stars on these events. Tag matches are really difficult to three star. You have to have a really solid first person to even have a chance to get it. Faction leveled up. Awesome job there. All right, so the final fight in the circuit is a gold Bray Wyatt, and we get 400 of those. Let's see if we can still win the fight. We have an advantage. If not, we can uh, give somebody some uh, injury requests if we fail them. Still got 4,000 health, so that's a decent amount for the Undertaker. And yellow, blue, and black. Black, red, and purple. That does seem the most sense. He does have a black match, so that's bad. But we didn't know that at the time. All right, so we could deny him some red, but that would cascade the black down. Which is not a good play. We could cascade the yellow down. That'll do nothing. Except match a black. Hey, match red. That sucks. All right, so we can go for red, purple. We could deny purple. Seems like the best play. He matched the red. So he's got a special two available. It wants us to match red, which would allow us to get him to deny yellow, but that's actually pretty good. He can get a green match, which would be really bad, too. So Undertaker not doing so hot. We're probably going to lose this fight. Yeah, that was expected. All right, so we have a black matchup. I think we're just going to have to match the black. It's telling us to do green. Let's just get him down on health. I mean, unless he gets a signature off, and if we deny the black, he can't do that. Uh, 
Alright, he got some black. We have to win this turn or we lose. How can we do that? Is there even a way? He can use a special via mobile gun, can he? Pretty sure he can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is futile, yep, because he can still use a finisher. But that was really the only thing we could do, and Undertaker gets pinned, but... If we had a little bit more health, we definitely could have done that, because the Undertaker almost won. So we're not going to rescue, but you can kind of see how that does. Undertaker is a really powerful card, and I highly recommend picking him up if you have the cash. Otherwise, you could play the game for free, and it's a really good card still. So let's get some uh, injury requests, and let's get him healed back up immediately, guys. No healing. Alright, so now we have a lot of loot. Let's go do our objective, though. Kill five people. So win five battles with technicians, acrobats, level up your powerhouse by five levels. Level up a showboat superstar move by two and five levels. So let's open up this loot. We got a lot of loot. And we're going to close out this video. So we got medium TP tour bag. get one green, one red, and one green. Sounds pretty shitty. <clears throat> I guess we have another bag we can open up. Let's go do that. One black, one blue, one blue. So a little bit of variety. I guess that's okay. Not really that great. Next up we have the Strikers Tour Bag. Items to power up your Striker Superstar. JBL's Bighorn Limo. We need two more now to get our Undertaker to two stars. 1500 coins and a TP. So I can't say that was bad because I needed JBL. Let's get the showboat tour bag leveled up. Three TP, the boss ring, and 1000 coins. Next up, we're going to level up the pro level toolbox. I don't really use props, I probably should. Marching orders, Fuji special, Fuji special, show of heart black. Rebuild and destroy, marching orders, and Shango Curse Green. Alright, so that is all our loot. Undertaker's still injured. Get that health request in, guys. Alright, so that's it showing off the Undertaker video. So, you can get that card for $9.99. I don't think you can buy another one. Um, another pack, or actually I think it was $4.99 for that. A lot of people say the Shadow Max contract is really good because it gives you tons of cash and coins through payday bags. So then the last payday, you get 30 of them, and you get a two-star gold Mr. Wonderful, which will probably help you advance in the game quite a bit as well. So if you liked this video showing off the one-star gold Last Outlaw Undertaker, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other WWE Champions videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all highly shown up. And if you guys want me to open up Shadow Max Contract next, show it off, as well as doing some battles with Mr. Wonderful, please leave your comments down below. Have a wonderful day, kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!